world. We've been planning, designing, manufacturing this steelwork for the last 12 months and to see it starting to be erected is hugely satisfying. It's been over three years working on the project and seeing the steel up and really getting a feel for the size of the project and scale is really quite rewarding. The commencement of the structural steel is an exciting milestone for the project as it signifies the completion of the basement structure as well as the jump form cores. It means we're progressing into the structural steel composite decks as well as the, uh, the roof canopy glue lamp. There are multiple logistical challenges with the delivery and installation of over 5,000 pieces of structural steel. To overcome the amount of crane time unloading trucks, EFN designed custom steelages so that multiple steel members could be lifted off the truck at once. This cut down the crane time significantly, which enabled us more time to install steel and also more time for parallel trades to use the crane. So some of the other challenges we face with the structural steel work relate to the architectural cruciform columns. They're an element of high importance to the project. They're on show for the public and they also are the main support mechanism for the roof canopy steel work. A large amount of coordination has gone into actually coordinating those connections with the glue lamp canopy as well as the roof cassettes. So just the, the sheer scale of the structural steel on this project is quite unique. Because it's so large, one of the real challenges for us is trying to move loads from wind and earthquake through the floor plates into the cores to be resisted down at the ground. Secondly, due to the scale, we've really had to optimise the connections and make them as repetitive as, and simple as possible, just for ease of installation. One of the more critical lifts on the project is the cruciform column that spans from the escalator buoy, which is the basement, right through to the roof canopy. The column is 23 metres long and 10 tonnes in weight and is essentially freestanding until it's supported by the glue lamp timber beams. The use of 4D program enabled us to visualise the construction sequence on the screen before it actually happened on site. This then took out a lot of the risks associated with trade congestion in the same area and it enabled us to program our workforces correctly. The strong collaboration between EFN, Multiplex and Enstruct is important to achieve you know, good project outcomes. We've worked closely over the design process to ensure that the end product is to a high level of quality and meets the design intent. Following the installation of the structural steel, the timber canopy is the next real milestone for the project. Architecturally, it's probably the most recognisable feature of the building and it's going to be iconic to the project. So the highlight of the structural steel is seeing the install occur in a sequence that we've planned for some time ago, as well as seeing those unique interfaces that were highlighted to us by the 4D modelling. The investment from the New South Wales government will result in a world-class fish market for everyone to enjoy.